Hey, what's up everybody? It's Alex from Everything for iPod and today I'm showing you a website I used to use all the time and just actually thought about it the other day and by a long time ago, I mean before I was even into YouTube, I used this website. So I just thought about it the other day and was like, oh, how come I don't use that anymore? So I started to figure, oh, I'm going to start using that again. It's a really great service and I thought you guys might want to know about it. It's a really easy to, way to get to all the websites you use a lot. And it's called My Faves. So myfave.es. I'll put the link down in the description where you can get to it. When you get to the page, you see some shortcuts here. But you can go ahead and log into your account to customize it. Now you have a few options. You can log in with Facebook, Twitter, Google, or OpenID. I'm going to log in with Google since that's the service I use the most. And then you just need to click Allow. So you don't need to type in anything if you're logged into your Google account. Uh, from there, you just go ahead and log in, um, click allow, and once you're in here, you can go ahead and choose a username. So I'm just going to leave mine w the same thing, uh, and I'm um, making that so you can't see it. I don't want you having my username because I use it for a lot of different things. But then you have the options to import your current My Faves settings and icons. Uh, I'm not going to make my page public just because I don't feel the need to do that. You can set your email address and have the option to send email when my faves updates. I'm going to disallow that. I don't want emails. And then you click make my account and there you go. You can visit your homepage and it says you haven't picked anything, but I'm going to pick some. And here you can go ahead and get some sites to put on. So basically it's a, uh, Web, it's a website where there's blocks on the home page where you can have your favorite websites to easily get to. So I'm going to add a few here that I visit a lot. So I know that I am on YouTube all the time, so I'm going to add YouTube. I'm also on Twitter a lot, and they also have an alternate Twitter, so whatever icon you like the most. Let's get Facebook. Um, which should be, it's all alphabetical, so it's really easy. Uh, Facebook right there. So you, all you do is you just go through, you get some websites that you're on a lot. I go to Amazon a lot. Um, Apple sometimes, but I don't know that I would want that on my homepage. I go to NHL a lot. I'm going to add that. Pinterest. Let's see, let's, let me get one more. Or a few more actually. Let's see, I go to. Huh. I'm gonna add Hulu also. And then I'll be done. And of course, you can add whatever you want. But now that I'm done that, I can go ahead to my homepage. And here's all my websites. So you can see there's multiple pages, and it's really customizable. So you can go into site settings down here on the bottom. And there's a little video, an, an eight second video that tells you what it is. Again, edit your sites, but you can customize it. So if you like the single row multi-page, you can do a single row scrolling. I like the grid just so I can see everything on one page. So you can choose the number of rows. I'm going to do auto and select that. Icon style, you can choose matte or glossy. I happen to like the matte and then you can choose your shadows or reflections. I like the float reflect, so I'm going to use that. Then you can choose your background, and I like the wood. And then there's different woods, actually. There's different um, textures, I guess, for everything. I'm going to go with the birch wood. Preferences, you can add a search bar, so I'm going to do centered below. Start with cursor inbox. I like Google. And right click shortcut. I am going to open the icon in a new window. So it's really customizable. You can do one, two, three, four, five. So when you hit the number one key, and I'll show you what all that is in just a second, but let's go back to my homepage here. So it's really customizable, you can see here. So now I have a little search bar and my cursor when I load this page will automatically be set there. So I can go type something in, hit enter, and it will search it. So let's go back to my faves. 
And if I hit the one key on my keyboard, it will go to YouTube. Two will go to Twitter. So you can see all that. You can drag the icons and change their position. So that's what that setting did when I enabled that. Each page also has a customized feature so you can change the URL. But if they don't have the website you're looking for, this is what I really like, you can edit your sites and you can create a fave. So you can get any icon you want. They have a lot of different icons. So I'm going to choose this iMac here. And I'm going to put my website in, techterrier.com. And then you can choose a bunch of different colors. Let me choose, I'm going to go with green. Save it. And now on my faves, there'll be a little Tech Terrier icon there. So if they don't have the website you want, you can add any website. I think this is really great. It just lets you uh, get to your homepage, your favorite websites faster. So what I'm going to do is take this URL. I'm going to go into my Safari preferences or whatever browser you use. I'm going to go to general. Homepage, I am going to set for my faves. New windows, I'm going to open with homepage. New tabs, open with homepage. And then another thing I'm going to do, if you are using Lion, this is really great. Go into General and System Preferences and uncheck this little Restore Windows when quitting and reopening apps. That's a feature they put in Lion that I personally hate. Um, I don't like if I'm on, let's say, Google, and I quit Safari and reopen it. I don't like, oh, not quit it, but if I close it and reopen it, uh, that uh, I don't know what I just did. I just like blanked out, but it'll always open with my home page. I don't like uh, when you can see if I disable or if I enable this and I'm on Google. I don't like when I reopen Safari it going back to Google. I like it to go to my home page. So I untick that and that happens with all apps. So myfaves.es, I'll put a link in the description. It's really easy to get to all your favorite websites. I love this. And I don't really know why I forgot about it, but it's an awesome service. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.